There we are. Hello. Hello. I have arrived. So yeah, I just remember, I just remember there was a, a new intro greeting type thing that I wanted to start using, and I've forgotten what it was now. I've forgotten what it was now. I have it written down, of course, but I didn't think to pull it up, so we're going to have to go without for tonight. Oh yes, hello, hello, I have arrived. So yes, tonight, more video games. More specifically, Tales of Arise. Been a good long time since we played Tales of Arise, since back in November. I want to. S it feels like that was a long time ago because that was last month, but it was. We're only like two weeks into, and only only kind of just two weeks into, basically. Not even. Or, yeah, we are only just now 14 days into December. So all that means is that I unintentionally took a one week break. But, nevertheless, it's been a little bit. So yeah, so that is tonight, Tales of Arise, like I said. Um, let's see. Yeah, tomorrow, we should be seeing the usual, the more, uh, eh. <laughs> the more Valhalla, cyberpunk bartender action, with our good friend Sheppy Sheps. Yeah, that should be tomorrow. I don't believe there will be anything that would change that or impede that in any way. And yes, then the Friday stream, once again, I'm not 100% sure when that will be, per se. It will be more Tales of Arise if it does happen, but yeah, it will not be able to happen at the usual time because of, the, because of my uh, work, because of my work, basically. My schedule, I don't know, I've, I, won't, I don't want to say my schedule has changed because that would imply a more long-term thing, but... On that particular day, at that particular time, I will be required in another place. <coughs> so yes. One way or another, let's see. Yeah, so tomorrow, once again, Valhalla, Sheppy Sheps, 7 or 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Actually, I'm just I just remembered, right. I think, yeah, that's probably why I was thinking about my schedule changing, other than the fact that it had, yeah. But yes, tomorrow I will... Actually, did I... I discussed with my boss taking some time for leaving early tomorrow uh, because I had to cover cover a co-worker shift earlier this week. So I might just do that, most likely. I'll probably be leaving work a little bit early, so we could potentially start the stream early. We also might not, I don't know. <laughs> Depending on how, how it works out for Shaps, of course. But, yeah. That is a possibility, but I don't think it's anything to plan on at this point. Honestly, I'd probably like to use the, yeah, I'd probably like to use the extra time to do some, some work on other things anyway. But yes. So, I guess that's that. 8.30 p.m. Central Time Thursday for Valhalla, and then something I do, I remember I did establish I did come up with a most uh, a probable time, a tentative schedule for the stream on Friday, and I'm thinking it'll probably be around one, yeah, one p.m. Central Time. But yes, that will again. It'll depend on what what all happens, how I'm feeling, if anything else comes up, because you know that is a you know the middle of a, of the day is a time when things happen a lot more or less, so I can't necessarily I can't necessarily say that everything will be exactly as I expect it to be. But yeah, I think that should be everything that needs to be said before we get into business tonight. I guess that is that is the business tonight before we get into the game. The video game. So let's get into the video game. Uh, uh, uh. But yes, you may notice that we're not on the main menu tonight. Yeah, reason for that is because I I was having some issues. Trouble. I was yeah having some issues with the game audio again. At least this time I. <laughs> at least this time I I triple checked. Yesterday I double checked and we still had an issue. Tonight I triple checked, and now we don't have issues. The game is audible. I am audible. Livestock have reached maturity. Everything is well and good in the world. 
But yes. So, like I said, I yeah, last time I I ended early with the expectation that I would spend some time off stream grinding. I didn't spend as much time as I might have liked. I certainly don't didn't spend as much time as I could have, considering that we spent about a week in between that stream and today. Maybe a little bit more than a week. But yeah, it's been a it's been a bit. over there? Stay far away from that thing. I feel like the fact that my party members are warning me about this creature well. means that it's probably not probably not necessarily something I want to be tussling with right now. Let's see. What are I I'm trying to remember what menu I have to access to see my quests. Let's see. Here we are. Ohoin Big Game Hunter. Uh, it does give a recommended level. Hmm. I guess we'll we will in well, I need I should be at full health. First of all. I should be at full health. For a full cure points ideally. The ranch should be all grown up by now. They sure are. The game has already told me that. But yes. We'll take this opportunity to rest. We'll have a quick meal. Then we'll see Want something to munch on, Hoodle? Actually you know what? No. We're not gonna fight anything just yet. And we're not gonna cook anything just yet, I don't think either. Uh, you know, we haven't, Kisara, we haven't hung, hung out with Kisara at the camp just yet. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Miguel was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the guard. Now, it's just a part of my routine. Makes sense. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. You like some? That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. Mm. It was, was Magal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel wasn't the... Oh, right. Yeah. She was Magal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? I was thinking that Lagiel That's was right. the... Uh, She's always been a very was critical the other, was the guy, and down-to-earth The guy person. who uh, in other words, yeah, the took over from Dohalim for a like short me. time. You're more an idealist than some pie-in-the-sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked that's so hard to set bit. an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. And that's where you develop your strength, you know I suppose, what? then. I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. <laughs> yes. Let's see. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit more, a little bit more grinding here. Before Just a little we bit go, more grinding before we get everything? started. Because I want to, yeah, I want to be at level 25. That is what I sort of was aiming for, as I recall. Let's and of the oh no, we might. All right, I've got to remember. I've got to remember. I, I've got to remember basically just how. <laughs> how this guy works because I absolutely do not now that I think about it mm. that's yeah that's a lot right and the tornado drive is a somewhat unreliable aerial attack at least in my experience perhaps perhaps it would be more accurate to say that my skill with it is unreliable rather than anything else about it but you know All right. So, not too bad. The heavens must be smiling. Not particularly rusty, I'm feeling. I do kind of want to see see how we match up against the boar. Level twenty six. That's above our level. It is definitely above our level. Twenty six is a bigger number than twenty four. In case you weren't aware. Thanks, 
Very good, very good. Yes. Oh. Yeah, Tornado Drive, I suppose. It's definitely a move that probably works better on larger enemies. Yeah, definitely a move that probably works better on larger enemies. And actually, hold on. Okay. You know, I'm still... This is probably not the best time to, uh... That to be true, but it occurs to me that I really still don't know how to target a healing ability. I didn't mean to use the lag mic there. I feel like I keep accidentally. Oh dear. I feel like I keep accidentally using using the lag mic when I don't mean to. Oh. Anyway. Alright. Almost. Almost. Alright, I definitely feel like inputs that I'm not inputting are happening. Because I definitely did not use a lucid deity there. I did not even press a face button. I'm 100% confident. Huh, not bad, not bad. Deal some more damage. Hmm. Alright, and then I. Dodge when I didn't dodge. Very curious. I might. Hmm. I might want to double check my. Yeah, I might want to double check my controller plugin when I'm done here. Oh, okay. forgive me. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry, I'd appreciate it if you would contribute a little bit more. Alright. Well, let's get some more damage on, on the enemy. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Okay. Because, yeah, these various abilities. Isara uh, is the only one who has a boost attack. Who has a boost attack that can actually stun the enemy. But it's not as though the others aren't useful. More damage is good. And of course, that move can always knock an enemy down. Very good, very good. Hmm. Alright, I feel like it's gonna charge here again. Oh, okay, so I need to... I need to use that after it starts charging. I can't do it... Yeah, I cannot do it before the charge Uh, you might want to back down a little bit, Alfin, actually. And in fact, let me turn on my... Let's turn on the part of my strategy where I use items again. Because I just realized I didn't have that on. This isn't a boss fight, but... We could probably use use a few items. One or two. Let's see. Yeah, it's pan pineapple pills. Actually, now we've got... Mm, yeah. Better to use more than we, than we need, I think. All right, now its attack pattern has changed a little bit, but it's, that seems to just mean that it's charging twice. I also definitely didn't use, definitely didn't use the lag might again there. So maybe I should check the, maybe I should check the. I should be focusing on the horn back and then again. Oh dear. You know, what? I'm gonna go plug in, double check the puzzle. Right? Theon, if you'd be so kind as to... Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So, okay, charging again. Stop. Thank you. Theon and Elfin are dead. I don't like that. Um, life bottles. We've got quite a few of those, actually. Alright, Theon lives. Creature, the creature runs again. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, okay, so that didn't help. At least I can, at least I can, yeah, cancel out of it pretty easily. Alright, is it good? Okay, if anything it's gotten worse, so give me just a second here again.
I plugged it into a different port. So we're gonna we're gonna see if that helps. Because I'd really like to not not use my abilities and I don't want to use my abilities. Alright, alright. So let's see. Healing me Nope, that has not helped at all. Huh. Benediction hmm. Okay, maybe there's something wrong with my PS4 controller. That would be very unfortunate, because I like this controller a lot. Now you've gone and ticked me off! Yeah, I can. Okay, something's definitely wrong. Let's get Alfin up. I don't know why Alfin is not living. I didn't think you had it in you. Focus. There'll be time to congratulate me later. Nothing much I can say to that. Alright, alright. Can you take it? Well, at least things aren't going too bad for the fact that my controller is seemingly not working. I was overconfident. Oh, Shion is down. So yeah, it's charging doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily prevent me from hmm. That was unfortunate. Doesn't necessarily prevent me from using doesn't necessarily prevent me from using abilities on it. Why don't, why don't I just switch, actually? Alright, resurrection, please. Alright, alright. No rest for the wicked. Alright, oh, can I switch? Alright, this is very concerning actually. If it's in the sky, it's mine. Yeah, I'm not. It's not that I'm on. It's definitely not that I'm on like semi-auto controls, am I? I don't think that's the case. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Alright, I think it I think it's down now, basically. In as much as it matters, it's down. Alright, so that was a bit more a bit more trouble than I was expecting, to be honest, but probably I could have used a used a used a, a meal there. They've really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Yeah, that definitely took a lot more resources than I was hoping for. A lot more resources than I was hoping for, but again, I didn't really invest in it as much as I probably should have. So, it is what it is. Let's see, we just got an astral flower. Or no. Okay, Grant's owner. Okay. I thought I had to use it. I suppose while we're here, we'll check in on the, the ranch. Nice, nice. Okay, so we do we do get horse meat, which is interesting. Not what I was expecting, to be honest. But yeah, we're not... I don't know that we have anything that requires beef. We definitely don't have anything that requires horse meat, so I guess... I guess we'll go with beef first. A little bit more beef first. Yeah. Actually, I might... Actually, right. Right, right, right. I remember I turned on auto controls when I was grinding because I was... Because I was, uh... Yeah, because I was not, uh... I was trying to maximize or to minimize the amount of effort that I had to put into the game, basically. I don't remember how to turn them off now. It might be under... No, it's not under strategy. Actually, I might want to... I won't do this now. I won't do it now, but I might want to go in and instead of just having one strategy that I go in and change the details of all the time, I might want to have a few different strategies for different levels of threat, basically. But yes. So yeah, I'm remembering now. I did turn on auto battle, basically. Not edit... Auto. There we go. Yeah, I did turn on auto battle. Who do I need to report to? No. Someone in this town, I think. Um, you probably. Zoogle along Tuslita Highway. Unfortunately, that is not very specific because all of these Zoogles are along Tuslita Highway. But, but yeah, so I guess we've we've 
We have solved the mystery. We have solved the mystery of why things were happening, even though I wasn't inputting those inputs on my controller. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember actually part of part of that time that I spent grinding. I spent watching streams. I don't remember what I was doing for the rest of it. But obviously, I should have been paying some more attention at the end of it, so I could, you know, set things back to normal. Is the Zugal gone now, my lord? Unfortunately. Oh, wait. Oh? Oh. Okay, you're a different person. I guess I probably should have read that dialogue. It didn't occur to me that there would be dialogue for talking to an NPC before you finish their quest. There's, there's a part of me that wants to go and see all of the potential dialogue there. Okay, this must be the one. There's a part of me that wants to go and see all of the potential dialogue I could I could get from all of that, but I feel like that would add a lot of time and not add a whole lot of entertainment. So despite We've my personal proclivities, we'll avoid that. This is this? No, it's the other way. I was gonna say, does it not have a different icon on the mini map? But yes, it does. I just went the wrong way. Huh. And speaking of Lagiel. I think this is the I think earlier when Kisara mentioned it was the first time I heard the name Lagiel speak spoken. All this time I thought her name was Lagiel. But yes, anyway. How'd it go with that Borzugal? Okay. Don't worry, we managed to stop it. Seriously? I still can't believe we pulled it off, honestly. It was it was closer than I was hoping for. I never should have doubted you, Kisara. I hate that I had to turn to you in the first place. <gasps> you still helped. You evacuating people and clearing out rubble made it so that we could simply focus on fighting. So, don't beat yourself up. You've always been a, a big help, even when you were when we were younger. <sighs> Thanks, Kisara. Well Anyway, what part of the fence did that boar destroy? I want to fix it for you. What the? You don't have to do that for me. And I swear, you never know when to rest, do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just in my nature. Speaking of which, hey, Rinwell? Your coat's been dirty ever since that fight. Let me have it. I'll wa wash it for you later. <sighs> huh? Uh, uh, sure. <sighs> I've got to step up my game. Funny that that's Rinwell's coat got messed up from that fight, considering that we... Didn't use her at all. Did not utilize her at all during that fight. We could have, I guess. We didn't have any arts for us to steal, but we could still get some... Uh, I'm pretty sure, even without stealing arts, that Rinwell's uh, boost attack does still do some damage. I think. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Alright. So yes, what... What else is there to do? I kind of want to buy some more supplies to replace what we just spent. I don't... I feel like we're past the point where apple gels are really valuable to us. You might want... Well, I mean, they're not terribly valuable. But they're also very cheap, so... Um, orange gels. Not a lot, but we'll get a couple of them. Um, just a few, actually. We don't need to... We don't usually need to restore a lot of cure points very quickly. Let's see. We could do... I'll replace... Yeah, I'll replace the life bottles that we just got, or that we just spent. I don't know why... Hmm. Yeah, sell some... Sell some of our junk. Kinda. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? We probably didn't, but you know. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember what. We're good on equipment, I think. I don't think we have any reason to get any more or better equipment. We don't have anything new. Yeah. Oh, Shion doesn't have an accessory. That's unfortunate. Right, that is on... That's the one on Isara. I don't know who has this equipped. Um, what do we... What do we want? 
Nothing is super... None of these are super... I guess they could all be useful. And in fact, you know what? Let's put a lucky bangle on Xion. She doesn't do a whole lot of damage and she doesn't take a whole lot of damage. So I don't need to worry about any of that, really. I'll keep the fire damage up on... Keep the fire damage up on... This man. Alfin, there we go. I really need to play this game more often because I can't remember what anyone is called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everything should be good with regards to equipment. Just double checking. Because, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. I'm sure I was going to say something else. Equipment's good. Items are good. I guess we can keep on fighting a little bit. I'll spend some more skill points. Because we must have... Yeah, we've got quite a few now. Spend some more skill points. Try to increase... Or try to get some... Clear out some titles. For additional... Yeah, for the additional benefits that they provide. That's elemental attack. Resistance. Elemental defense. Um... I think we'll just go with defense on Alfin for right now. None of these are super valuable. Oh yeah, I remember... I remember I achieved something that I was aiming for. I remember I achieved something that I was aiming for during... I think I got like a title or something while I was grinding also. But maybe not, because none of these seem super new. I didn't invest in anything. You know, I try not to do anything new off stream whenever possible, even when I do spend time like grinding and such. But I know I didn't spend any skill points. But yeah, so I think I might have gotten closer to a title. Or I might have thought that I was getting closer to a title, but I don't seem to have done anything in particular for it. Hmm. Let's see. Damaged enemies that have been down. Yeah. Once again, I'm focusing on the titles themselves, but individual benefits from them when I can't get the full thing are still pretty nice. Yeah, resistance, I think, is... Resistance to crits, I think. Prevents, prevents crits and such. Back. Um... Penetration. That increased the chance of crits. I think defense is probably the most valuable. Boost gauge for any defeats, nice. Boost gauge for enemy downs. And boost gauge at battle start. A lot of boost for this for this scal. Don't have a lot of titles for Dohalim. Let's see, elemental defense, defense, resistance, attack. Attack is good, I think. Midair jump is good. Very good. Oh, uh, let's see. Boost strike. Elemental defense. This could be nice. Another art. Oh, I remember I need to get... There's something that I need to do. Go home, big game hunter. Or is it on Kisara, actually? Walking crag. That's not it. Uh, favorite meals cooked. No. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I can't see the I can't see the unlock criteria for the other the titles that I've already unlocked, but I was pretty sure that there was a character if I needed to use some sort of art on to unlock something. Aiming a bounty, to polo training grounds, items collected, owls met, both training grounds. Um Yeah, it seems like not, actually. <laughs> it seems I was mistaken. Oh well. So, what do we want? Boost strike damage. Would be nice. Negative gate. Um. We'll get some more stuff from here, I think. Yeah, that'll be a little ways off. KO prevention. I saw that proc earlier in the battle. That's nice. Resistance. Boost gauge. Xion's boost attack isn't super useful, so I don't know that I really want to emphasize it. It's nice. It's nice when it's 
applicable, but it's not applicable all that often. It doesn't, I don't feel like it does all that much damage either. Lunar Corruption is an interesting sounding move. Easier over limit. I don't know that that's super useful on Xion either. Art casting mobility, that is pretty useful though. Sniper, midair, boost gauge. I don't know, maybe it's just that I've not, maybe it's just that I've not really invested all that much into Xion's damage because I've mostly emphasized her role as a healer thus far. Yeah, this title, this title's cleared out, I think. Um, increased, uh, penetration. I don't know, I think some more damage can be nice. Well, actually, none of these do increase her damage, so I think we'll focus on something else first. Hurts gauge recovery, more normal attacks during a combo. Yeah, we'll go with this, why not? Now that was very expensive. <laughs> All right, never mind. You won't be cleaning that anytime soon. Arts gauge upon enemy defeat. Pick an easy title. Boost gauge. Um, awakening battle chain bonus. That could be nice. I'm not very good at 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 getting law into yeah into awakening. I'm not very good at that, so <laughs> it's of questionable value. It's not valueless, but it's definitely of questionable value. Anti-dragon damage. You know what? I want that. I have it, but you know, I want that. Just to reiterate. Sharpness. Ah, it's a damage buff. Classic pool. You know what? Some more arts on Rinwell. A greater variety of arts on Rinwell would be pretty nice. I haven't seen her... Ooh. Reduced art casting time during combos. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. But yes. And... Recover. Alright, everyone is pretty spent on skill points. Need some more heal. Or we need to heal some more. And we need some more cure points. And we'll also do some cooking. Isara wants to cook to unlock another title, so if possible, I will we try to get her today, didn't... get her something nice. Let's see. More dropped items is not something I care too much about. I wanted to get the XP boost. I wanted to get the XP boost, but I don't know where to get Sea Bream. I don't know that we've encountered any so far, and I certainly don't think we've encountered the sea. So. Rare ore rate. A lot of these... A lot of these bonuses that Isara gives us are not super useful. Defense is pretty good, actually, though. Done. This is sure to give the others some much-needed energy. Fair enough. I'm also a fan of, of omelets. Oh, but we can't. Mind if I join law. you, Law? Interesting. Or at least we can't have the the same uh, conversation that we were expecting. You know, with how how Law seemed to be uh, seemed to be dismissive of Hi. Alfin's punch, with how Law seemed to be dismissive of Alfin's punch, I thought I thought that cutscene was going to end with uh, I feel pretty refreshed Alfin after accidentally that decking him out, <laughs> just absolutely decking him by accident in an attempt to throw a punch that would impress him. But Law hurting his own hand, punching. Punching Alfin in his armored midsection seems pretty pretty on brand as well. What's that huge Zuko over there? Well, stay far ideally, away from that thing, Renwell. It's our next target that we're going to take down. Twenty-five. Level twenty-five is less than level twenty-six, but it does have some allies, which could be troublesome. Oh, hold on. It's missing some HP. Hold on. Is that? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I got a little bit too excited there. Oh. Uh oh. No. So, break. Destroy. There you 
That's very good. Alright, so I think that's one of them down already, which is nice. Very good. Very good, very good. So yeah, that should be them all down. Then we can focus on the hand and get some more. Yeah, get some. Oh, some dollars. It's done it. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, okay. So it's got a different sort of slam attack there. Alright, let's get it hard. Thank you. Knock it down. And show the hand. Not bad, not bad. I actually landed that move for once. Very good, very good. So yeah, Tornado Drive is definitely a lot better on very big enemies. A lot better on very big enemies. Very good, very good. Deal some more damage. Deal some more damage. Very good, very good. Alright, I like it, I like it. Cool. I don't know... Hmm. Okay, that was not so good. That was not so good. It could have been worse, but it wasn't too good either. So, can I... Hmm. I probably shouldn't be standing completely still. It definitely seems like... Seems like heal always seems to target the ally with the least HP. Always seems to target the ally with the least HP. I don't know that that's actually true, or if I'm just imagining it, but. You know what? Some more damage. Why not? Alright, Xion needs to heal him. She's in a bit of a troubling situation. Very good, very good. Another very good proc of her... Yeah. Another very good proc of her uh, avoiding death. Which I can appreciate. Some damage. Some more damage. Didn't quite hit on target. But, you know. Alright, Elfin's not doing so good either. Hmm. So yeah, that healed Elfin, who is again the least healthy party member that we have at the moment. This one's mine. Now you're getting serious. Mm. Here, let me help. Very good, very good. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of nice, I guess, in a way, that... Oh, that's, that's less nice. Yeah, I'm gonna say, it's kind of nice in a way. Well, I'd like to be back in it. But, anyway... In a way, it's kind of nice that Heal automatically targets whoever needs it the most. But I would like to be able to make a decision. Nice, nice. Alright, Shion's down, which is less nice. Do we have Resuscitation on our boy here? It occurs to me that I don't know. Yes, we do. Okay. Alright, so let's... Let's get Elf, or let's get Xion back up. Let's do some healing. Okay. So, how's some harm? Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, oh, oh. Alright, I don't need to resurrect because Xion's already resurrecting. Now, if only I could resurrect myself. I might actually... I might have... I might have an actual... an art that, uh, I have on... Oh dear. I might have on... I can't change my equipment, of course, but yeah. Yeah, that is Cure Point cost down. I might actually want to make another of these for Xion. Considering that she and Dohalim are the main users of things that cost... Yeah, things that cost Cure Points. Abilities, you might call them. We still have... We should still have the ability to use items, yeah? Hmm. I don't know why 
they are not being used to restore our cure points, but it is what it is, I suppose. So I hope you all are able to handle yourselves for a little bit while I get Xion back up. Because yeah, we're still... Oh, hold on. Someone used an item. I would have liked to have used an item that allows me to, to cast abilities, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. Resurrection, please. Mm. And, oh dear, okay, okay. So, we are alive. That's pretty good. Cause it some pain just because. Seems to be... Oh no. Alright. Not bad, not bad. No further. Hmm. Looks not great, but not bad either, to be honest. Oh, hold on. That was a boost, wasn't it? Right. Interesting. Okay, so this is a fast enemy. So I guess maybe I should have been paying attention to that. Because yeah, I was thinking that the that the apes were a were fast enemies. And it seems that my thinking was correct. So yes, very good. So fire and earth astral energy, huh? A perfect combination. They are a pretty good combination, as we demonstrated from that last attack. Now, we do have increased anti-dragon damage. And the dragon was... We did have the ability to encounter the dragon pretty early on. So it's entirely possible that the dragon's not too bad. I think if we're going to fight... Yeah, if we're going to switch anyone out, I think it's going to be Dohalim. You know what? We'll keep Dohalim in, actually. Because I don't think... Dohalim has had much chance to interact with Rinwell. And, you know, we'll switch Law in too. Why not? I'll even play as Law. Yeah, so now all of our cure point usage will be on the guy who has reduced cure point usage, which is pretty nice. Alright. Yeah, we'll definitely want to rest again real quick. I don't think we need to buy any. Pardon. I don't think we need to buy anything more at this point. Because that fight went a lot better than the previous one. But I definitely want to be at the top of my game for when the dragon appears. This realm doesn't seem Actually, like you know such what? a bad place to camp in. Yes, we yeah, there's lots Well, we can't not the rest and if wildlife we here. stop here, I it know, seems like. And it all looks Good night, everyone. We can't not sleep. I was going to say we could cancel out of this and then uh, well, do some more fighting to get some more boost gauge before we engage the dragon. But I guess we can do that anyway. It'll take a little bit longer. But, oh well. Oh, right. Hold on. So, switch to Law. So that's who I said I was going to play as. Alright, now I've got to kind of remember... <laughs> I've got to remember how to actually use Law, because it's been a very long time since I played this game. Not bad, not bad. Blah 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 magic. And man, Law, Law is so fast. He is so fast. Very good. I wasn't keeping an eye on the boost with gauge my there. Comrades, I'm unstoppable. And what about without them? We're pretty much full on cure points uh, there. More stoppable? We're full on cure points. We're full on HP even. That's Little what we Oh. Okay, I'll I need to get him switched over Where's properly. This one's oh, that's going to cause Three damage, guys. which maybe was what less than ideal. Oh, that focus goes double for you, Law. Me? How oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh. Very good, very good. So we've got some... A comfortable win. Hmm. No, no, I don't... You definitely can carry boost gauge over from one fight to another. I've definitely seen that happen before. I was trying to remember... Double-checking if that was an actual mechanic, but yes, it is. Switch over. I want to mainly control law. Like I said... Dragon, dragon doesn't fly, I don't think, despite being dragon. It doesn't fly very much, anyway. Not enough that I would necessarily need to 
be terribly concerned about preserving Xion's uh, Xion's boost attack anyway. Uh, I always need to. I always forget about Steel. I always forget about Steel. Not that. Not that. Wish they were all that easy. Yeah. yeah. I think we might be getting too strong. I feel like Isn't there's definitely good? play along, would you? There's definitely some sort of mechanic that allows me to. I definitely feel like the game told me at It'll some point there was a way to. Get in, get out. Yeah, that there was a way to target healing arts. I don't know what it is, sadly, which uh, which uh, definitely decreases the potential utility of doing such a thing. In fact, I don't know how to, but, you know, in theory, in theory, it would be pretty, it'd be pretty nice. Alright, and that's another fight one. I look pretty flashy out there. So glad it met with your approval. For sure. Very flashy move. Let's see, there we go. I don't think I encountered this Let's guy pretty got. much at all, basically, when we were first going through this area. I only learned about him when I was doing the mining. I'll focus on the floor. I don't think we really even need to that much. He'll probably die before we can do anything meaningful to it. But, you know. And destroy? Very good. And once again, so, did you like my boost once start? again, I was too focused on yeah, the, the cool the moves. Charts. I was too focused on the cool moves to check on how our boost gauge is doing. Yes, yeah, okay, everyone's full. Everyone's full. We could just leave here, but you know, why not? Why not cause some harm? Yeah, then we'll take another quick nap, and then we'll do some dragon slayer. Honestly, that, that, uh, that'd be pretty nice. Yeah, it's been a, been a long time since the specter of the dragon has been haunting us. I'm certainly glad to, uh, yeah, certainly glad to be putting it to rest. There we go. All right, all right. That extra training paid off. Indeed, it has. We're not all that many levels higher than we used to be, but we certainly are higher level than we are. We were. Yeah, I was hoping to do a little bit more. You something to munch on, Hoodle? A little bit more plot progress today, and we might still end up doing some. Yeah, I don't intend to be. Yeah, Make I think sure I mentioned a while back, but I was thinking about starting to stream until 10:30. I definitely don't think I'll be doing that today, because my voice is a little bit tired today. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired today. I suppose I could probably help that a little bit by taking a sip. Should probably do so more often. Sip. I sip somewhat infrequently, but I tend to drink a lot when I do, do have water. Sort of as a balancing, I suppose. And while it keeps me from getting thirsty, I suppose I should probably be keeping my throat more, yeah, more moist than that, necessarily. Sip. Maybe not that short of a period of time in between sips is ideal, but, you know, you get the idea. But yes, I don't... I guess we might as well turn in that other quest that we just completed so we can get some more skill points, possibly get some more skills... Uh, wrong button. There we are. Okay. Over here is where we need to go. Right, because yeah, that was the Simeon Zoogle, and that will get us a new title on Dohalim also. That's my posture a little bit. Live stock have reached maturity. Nice, nice. I'm going the wrong way again. We've been here before, I should remember. All right. <clears throat> Is the Zugal gone now, my lord? Good. 
It is. It proved to be a formidable foe, oh, but I'm pleased to report that it is no more. That's right. Dohalim here put it in its place. Y you really got rid of it, my lord? Yes, indeed. We also removed the Zoogles in the surrounding area. This should hopefully allow you to go about your work in peace. Wow. Thank you so much. Wait, your face. My lord, did you get hurt in that fight? <laughs> Fret not. It's a small price to pay on my part if it means my people are relieved of that which ails them. <laughs> my lord, I don't know what to say. I shall work even harder in the fields to repay such kindness. You needn't do more than you already are. If anything else troubles you, please, do not hesitate to call on the palace for its assistance. Yes, my lord. Thank you. Really now? I've got a feeling you're going to have a long line of people waiting to see you once we're back in Vicin. And we'll be back there pretty soon here. Good amount of gold as well. Eternal Protector. Increased Rod Extension Length. Oh, uh, let's see. Even when he's not a lord, Dohalim remains a guardian of the people, putting them on his, putting his own neck out to address whatever ails the masses. Regenerate. That sounds that sounds like it could be nice. I don't think that's something Xion has, which is interesting. Hard gauge, critical hits. That could be pretty good. Dohalim attacks pretty quickly, I think. And hit boost gauge increase. Hmm. That could be nice. Or it's casting time during combos. Could be nice, could be nice. But yes. I don't think Yeah, we could get act we could get another title here. Just this one. But you know what? Why not? Why not indeed? Then yeah, both of these are equally invested in, but I can't afford anything from that, so I think I'll save up a little bit for now. Lightning spark. Uh, ah, aggro. That's something I've been wanting. I could get I could get another title, but I really want to get more aggro in Kisara. That's definitely something I've been trying to emphasize in the only way that I can by giving her one accessory that boosts it, but you know. But yes. Um We'll worry about the rest of this once we've cleared out the dragon. I think Okay, we do have, we've got the dragon, and then we've got the, the big guy. We've got the big guy. The big, uh, guy. <laughs> What's the creature called? I don't remember. The thing that's in the quarry. The big guy. Yes, whatever that creature is, that thing, that is what we will destroy next. Or after the dragon. And then... Once we have done all of that, then I think we will. There's the you know, Zoogle do we the were thing. asked to handle. I was kind of hoping to get those resources Retreat back there, but you know. You. Uh, we'll start out by getting rid of the boars because I want them dead immediately. Yes. I want. Actually, hold on. If I destroy them too quickly, that'll probably. Oh no, okay. I was going to say, if we destroy them too quickly, that might prevent the dragon from spawning, but uh, it seems that that is not the case. In a bind. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, alright. So we've uh, encountered a little bit of a bug here. Since we... Yeah. Now it's just going to have this icon flashing over it for a while, huh? Nice. Oh dear. Let's steal some damage. We might as well. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that the dragon does fly ever, but I also don't know that it doesn't fly. So it might be. Yeah, it might be in my best interest to save Xion's. Yeah, save Xion's. Boost, it, boost strike for if it is doing something that resembles one. Because, you know, it has little animations where it sort of takes off. But I don't know if that is flight in the proper sense. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I've definitely not seen any parts out of it. 
so I'm not too concerned about that. Now, as, as potentially concerning as having a dragon breathe fire on you would be in real life, that's really a, probably the least threatening attack that it has, huh? Because it just stands completely still. Oh, well, Delta leans down. So maybe it's not as uh, non-threatening as I thought. Considering that Dohalim is a melee attacker, it might be best if I control him, actually. Because, yeah, Xion could avoid damage by and large just by not being where attacks are. <laughs> but, yes, Dohalim does not have that privilege, however, unfortunately. Focus on the gem in your chest. Very good, very good. I don't need to have Resurrection on all the time, so we'll switch that off. Got a lot of arts on, on this fellow now, huh? Why not? Catapult. That's one of the new ones I got. I don't know how much Law's AI is able to... Yeah, is able to really take advantage of... Actually, hold on. I keep, I keep forgetting that I have, like, items that I can use to heal everybody. I feel like a treat is perhaps a lot. Or, yeah, probably a lot more than I needed, I needed to use there, but, you know. Alright, uh, knock you down. Very good. Please do. Very good. But yeah, the dragon fight is going really well, actually. Alright, so... It was doing something that resembled flying there. It was doing something that resembled flying there. But it wasn't... Yeah. When I summoned Xion, she wasn't in the air, so that clearly wasn't an... That wasn't even an aerial state, let alone flying. I think I said that she wasn't in the air. She was... She... Yeah, she wasn't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> alright, alright. So... So this is... A move, certainly. You know, I've been using. Hmm. Live, please, thank you. So, yeah, I've been using Alfin's uh, boost strike. Pretty. Pretty freely. Pretty freely, I will say. So, yes. I think, uh, oh, nice, nice. I was just about to say that I should maybe not use it as freely, so as to, you know, have it around to disrupt the enemy when they're about to use extremely uh, damaging, powerful arts, but, you know, you know. Alright, alright. Let's gonna do a thing again. The fire breathing's not too bad. I can live with fire. So, yeah. so I think this uh, dragon is yeah, is pretty solidly not what the game considers to be a flying enemy. All yeah, despite appearances. Hmm. Okay, so while it's doing that, it can't be interrupted. It seems like you've definitely seen enemies do things where they can't be interrupted. Oh. Good to see you. Hope you're enjoying this dragon fight that's just about to end. Oops. Very good. Nice, 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 nice. Yes. Just doing a little bit of pest control here. What can I say? I had a good partner. Yes, I hope you're having a fine day there, all. Yeah, so I think now, actually, no, well, I was going to say we'll head into town and, yeah, go defeat the, well, the, the big guy, as I've taken to calling him. He? Good. Good. Oh, I guess we do need to go into town anyway, because that's where we need, where we need to turn in this quest. But yes, we'll go turn in the quest before we take out the big guy. We'll rest again, just for the sake of it. I want to be in tip-top sh- Pardon Hip top shape when fighting the enemy. I finally made it. Yes. All right. How's this? Welcome back. You take care of that pesky Zoogle flying around for me. 
That's one way to put it. Yeah. You bet. It won't be causing you any more problems. You did? Huh. That's seriously impressive. <laughs> In that, that case, this bounty's all yours. Go on, take it. <laughs> now I wish there were more Zoogles with big bounties attached for us to get rich off of. Oh, I'm sure we'll encounter plenty more. I'm sure if you ever did something bad, you'd get a huge bounty on your head real quick, kid. All right. If that ever happens, I'll take responsibility and bring him down myself. You can send the money to whomever he ends up causing trouble. Hey! Stop acting like I'm going to turn into a criminal. Well, anyway, because of you folks, the highway is that much safer to traverse now. So thanks. Very good, very good. And another title for law. Bounty Hunter. Arts Cage, very good. A living made for bounty hunting is all well and good, but Law would rather not become a bounty himself if he can avoid it. Alright. So. A quick visit to the inn. The inn that we visited the most out of any inn in this game, I think, so far. How are you doing today? It seems like we haven't talked to you in a while. Ah, hello, sirs and madams. I hope you'll avail yourself of our services again. We certainly will. We certainly will. It'd be kind of nice like if we could save the roof balance. over our heads. That'd be kind of fun. The inns are free everywhere, so... Okay, we don't need to cook. We don't need to cook. We've already got the... Yeah, we've already got our defense buff from the omelet. Of course, I could always just cook anyway. But it's not like we're really low on resources or anything. I could just cook anyway so that we can make sure that we have the... So that I can make sure that we have, uh, are getting, yeah, Kisara's title at a slightly accelerated rate. I guess I didn't need to walk all this way, huh? But, you know, we're on our way to meet the big guy. Might as well make it special. Stay sharp. We're going in. Sit. All right. What's that huge Zugal over there? That's the big guy. Stay far away from that thing, Rinwell. All right. It'd be nice if there was like a photo mode in this game. This is definitely the highest level of all of the Zugals we've encountered thus far. Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess it must this only have a core on the back. I thought the arm was a core. Yep. That's the plan. Hit him Can't get out of Uh-oh. Ah, right. Right, right, right. I already discerned that or I determined that controlling Dohalin directly would probably be the safest and best bet. And I'm still confident in that, to be honest. I don't think this enemy will charge, and it's certainly not flying, so I don't think we need to worry about... Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about... You don't need to... Oh, Ooh, me. Thanks. oh this does charge. Okay, okay. Alright, so, with that in mind, uh, I guess we'll have to be a little bit more careful. And indeed, we will have to be a lot more careful because Elfin is down, and I'd really rather he not. Hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm glad that. Yeah, I don't need to wait for the entire. Okay, I don't need to wait for the entire animation to conclude for uh, resurrection to go off. Because if not, I would have needed to resurrect someone else there. I think. Alright, knock you down. Your shot, thank you. Alright, well, unfortunate. We should probably be a little bit more, considering that I'm the only healer in the party now, we should probably be a little bit more, you know, proactive with the healing, so as to avoid being the only member of the party, but, you know. Alright, very good, very good. He took that, that charge like a champ there, Dovlin, I must say. I can respect that for sure. 
Very good, very good. Right, I think we'll back up. Back up a little bit. Knock him down just to give myself a little bit more breathing and get a heal. Heal some damage. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely feel like I've gotten better at this game. I can definitely feel the, the improvement. Yeah. So, I was just about to use Kassar's art again. I gotta remember, I need to save it for a time like now. Probably not. Oh no, okay. So yeah, so yeah, when it is winding up for a charm is considered a that is a acceptable time to use the yeah is an acceptable time to use that. Very good, very good. So yeah. Where is the two to my damage for attack? Oh, oh dear. It doesn't do too much damage for attack, huh? And yeah, I guess, yeah, I really got to, uh... Oh, that was an interesting interaction there. Oh, wait, nope. Ah. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. So that... Alright, alright. Alright, a lot happened there. A lot happened there, and I didn't, I didn't process all of it all that well, but... You know. Very good, very good. Back it down just to keep it from doing anything that I'd regret. Didn't work. Uh, so I guess, yeah, while an enemy in this in this state, maybe it can't uh, maybe it can't be in trouble. All right. So could be a little bit more careful. We're out of resurrection tower, and we're. Not doing great on gels. I maybe should have bought some more. From beyond, in view this vacant cell with life. Resuscitation. All right, Rin. Well, okay. maybe I shouldn't have put Rin well in the line of fire, literally there. But you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Okay. Ah, I should be focused on the... Oh, oh, it's got two cores, I was I just misinterpreting what I was seeing? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. And, oh, I should have backed off before I did that, but it didn't go too bad, so... Thank you again. Alright, I'm going to back up. Alright, let's gonna keep doing it slam it back there. That one's pretty cool. Not too hard to deal with. So can... A lot of the time it seems to prioritize me. It prioritizes me. Alright, live. Destroy. And we'll heal someone. Alfin. Uh, no, that's not a charge attack, unfortunately. Uh, misinterpreted what it was doing there, unfortunately. Okay, okay. A little bit of damage. I feel like that does a whole lot of damage. But... It's kind of hard to read what numbers are representing what, because there's a lot of numbers on the screen. Alright, knock it down, heal myself, heal others. I definitely should focus on healing a little bit more than I do. Because it's definitely a lot more... It's a lot more... It's better than, than Resurrection. Ounce of prevention, pound of cure, all that. Alright, law is down, which is unfortunate. Not insurmountable, of course, but unfortunate. Get a little bit more pineapple, or no, no, well... Pineapple gels are kind of expensive for... I don't know, I feel bad for law. <laughs> I've just said that I I've just said basically that I don't think his life is worth the the price that I would have to pay to to uh, save it here, but you know. 
It'll be fine after the battle. So it's it's all it's all okay. Very good, very good. No better way to take out the no better way to take out the flame wrecker than with a with a frozen hammer, I think. So that didn't go as planned. We must you consider you well if this is the right path. It didn't go super well, but Law lived, and he in fact was the only person out of the, the whole party to get a level up there, so. Honestly, Law, you're the one who technically got out of this the best. Nope, oh, nope, can't jump over that. Oh, hold on. Interesting, you can't open up the sort of party men menu when you're in the air. I wonder why that is. I guess there doesn't necessarily need to be a reason for it, but I always sort of assume whenever I see something odd in a game, I always assume there must be some sort of explanation. I don't sense any more enemies. I assume I assume that someone on the development team made a choice for that. And so I kind of I always sort of hmm. want to know why. Oh, Captain, it's you again. Did you manage to beat that Zoogle I asked you about? Okay. Yeah, it end. It turned out to be a real handful, but we eventually pulled through and won. Eventually is right. Don't be coy. You were a sight to behold against that thing, attacking and defending with that shield of yours. <laughs> wow, so you managed to take out that huge, that tough rock zoogle with your shield. That's impressive. Thanks. Turns out it's useful not just for defending. I can be offensive with it, too. I feel like I better understand what it's capable of now. Well, thanks for doing all that, Captain. Now I can finally get back to work. Honestly, he was pretty strong. We maybe could have uh, seen about training the big guy to do a little bit of rock breaking himself. Yes, Rockbuster Shield. Nothing can be gained by re remaining solely on the defense. A great shield on the attack can crush any obstacle in its way. Strength and Guard Ignition. Nice. Okay, Guard Ignition moves deal more damage and are harder to interrupt. Hmm, does that... Guard ignition moves. Is that just the word for the moves that you do when you get into the uh, powered up state by using Isara's uh, passive ability? Or are there specific guard ignition moves? Because I've definitely seen moves that deal or that can that say that they can be used while guarding and such. Use your party member over limit. That's pretty nice. Just sort of a passive bonus from Isara. Hmm. I assume that means that she has to be on the field of battle for that to be effective. But she's pretty nice to have on the field of battle anyway, so. Bumps on the enemy and hits them with a lion spirit. Stronger if activated while guarding. So that sort of makes me think that that could be... Could be a guard ignition move? Maybe? But maybe not, also. <laughs> is unclear. These are perfect guarding. Hmm. Yeah, I think I definitely have easier perfect evasions on a lot of our party members. Or maybe I don't, actually. Maybe I just have it on the party members that I play a lot. Huh? Well, I don't know. That's evasion distance. Which is related, but it's not the same thing. Maybe on Alfin? Yeah. And yeah, Alfin's definitely the character that I played as the most initially. Because yeah, I saw that I saw that on Kisar and I thought, oh, maybe the reason why I struggle to time for perfect guards is because I am used to the easier timings on other characters. But it seems like not. Of course it could be that perfect guarding has a more strict time limit on it than, you know, perfect evading. It. it might be that it does, but, you know, it might be that it doesn't. But yes. <clears throat> so, let's see. We're pretty... What do we have for quests right now? What sequence of buttons do I need to press to act or access the quests? Field, activity records, there we are. Yeah, I think... We could probably go to the Owl Forest real quick. 
<laughs> Taming water. We do need to craft a copy of Taming Water. Sand in this ravine. Ah! Yeah, that... The Mantis is definitely way too high level for us right now. It's still definitely too too high level for us. I'm 100% confident. Yeah, 43. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could fight it, but I definitely can't. I definitely can't. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. So Law's pretty, pretty beaten up. Understandable, considering circumstances. So yeah, I think... What do we want to do? I just looked at the quest, but I didn't look at the actual subquest we could do. Let's see. Oh, uh, we can't... Oh, right, I did look at the subquest. Yeah. I know that the game was prompting me to go back to the Owl Forest at one point. I don't remember if I did that. I don't remember if I did that or not. I feel like I did, but I guess it wouldn't hurt too much to go and Looks like we get to sleep with go out of our way and check. Alright. Aiming water. It's a downgrade in every respect, but we don't need to use it. I kinda I almost feel bad about using the strange cores on it, but I guess I don't use those for anything else, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay, so you can you can upgrade items. Huh, so maybe I shouldn't have been selling them. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Ooh, that's very cool. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look all that different from the original Blackthorn. I do like the color scheme. That's not quite... Yeah, that's a little bit purple, I think. Look, it can it can look blue, or at least it does look a little bit blue to me, depending on the light. But yeah, it's definitely a purple. Yeah, these these weapons don't seem to have. Actually, I guess I can zoom in. The weapons don't seem to have different models per se. That's a good shot. Yeah, they definitely don't seem to have different models, but they do have different color schemes. Eline Bastion. This feels nice. Appropriate. Oh. We, we can't make that for some reason. Shield that has the spirit of a cute black cat. So devoted is the cat to its master that it's willing to literally shield them from danger. Very nice. Yeah, can I... No, it's definitely... I wasn't mis miscounting the number of digits in that price. It's definitely... Oh, spherical shells. I was wondering why I couldn't craft it, but we don't have the resources for it. <laughs> yes. A lot of new... Yeah, okay, okay. I think, yeah, we just... Uh, we need to make more progress before we can make any more neat equipment. None of the new things seem to be... Oh, sticks around at the angle that we put the uh, chi on it. That's interesting. So, I guess uh, no more selling selling weapons. It shouldn't be too troublesome to go and gather the resources to craft them again if I have to. But, you know, I'd prefer not to, ideally. <laughs> can't craft the rusted sword. I I hope that you can't sell it either, because I almost I almost I almost worry at this point that maybe the the rusted the dull sword I didn't sell it at least, so you know, we don't need to actually worry about that, but I was a little bit worried that maybe this could end up being a very powerful weapon if we kept it around from the start of the game and all that. Yeah, it could end up being crafted to a very powerful weapon, but fortunately it seems like that is not the case. Do a little bit of crafting, but I think we'll just rest and be on our way. This time we will cook again. 
Actually, we're going to be exploring a little bit. We're going to be exploring a little bit. But I think we're going to get... Let's see, that is rare ore rate. Rare ore... Obtained ore up. I guess obtained ore up means that you get more stuff. And rare ore rate means that you get better stuff. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Will do. All right. So yeah, now that we have done all of that, I could also, yeah, spend some of the skill points like I said I was going to. But I think what I'm going to do instead is we're gonna, you know, make progress. A little bit of progress, perhaps. Just a little bit. But progress nonetheless. Because yeah, I'm definitely getting a little bit tired. I ended up working uh, a little bit longer hours than I was expecting to today because, yeah, the worker who I covered for yesterday I had to cover for again today. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, oh, I would reckon. On. I mean, other than them. Mahog Sar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited now. Hmm. Wait, are we in? I wonder what kind of lord we're going to find there. Are we in Mahog Sar? It doesn't matter. Yeah. If they try to get in our way. We'll take them down and that'll be that. Let's see. We've been... Let's... Yeah, let's think. Because we've been in Calaglia. We were in Sisladen. And we were in... We were presumably just in Elda Menencia. So, yeah. To say that means that we are now officially in Mahogsar. Interesting that the border of Mahogsar and Elda Menencia is just the... The door. The door leading into the city. But yeah, anyway. Before I forget, I'm going to go to the, the owl place. Map list. There we go. Alright. Any changes, I wonder? At Forest Well Owl. Okay, so yes, I there's more to be said. Something. There's more to be done. I was right. Ooh, ooh. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> All right. The same cutscene as always. <clears throat> Silver silk in clean here at Sin Cleaver armor. Nice, nice. Replica of the armor worn by a story Dan and Hero. The yellow cloth draped over the silver armor is proof of the wearer's valor. Copper Sin Cleaver armor. Replica of the armor worn by a story Dan and Hero. Copper armor and crimson cloth thirst for the blood of evildoers night after night. Ah. Huh. <laughs> Nothing really new, it seems like. Poodle's excited about something. I don't. Hmm. Presumably there's not owls to be found in here. Per se. I know that, you know, the way it's described is just Hoodle does this because he gets excited about seeing owls around. Hmm. Yeah. Normally, you know, that is just used for. Normally, that is just used for when you need to find owls in the world. Okay, so we can't travel here directly, so definitely should have gone to the forest before we, you know, left, but oh well. <clears throat> That's it. A little bit too much water there. A little bit too much water, a little bit too fast. But yes, so now that we have that out of the way, Let's go and see some more stuff. Some more of the world. Yeah, this area is definitely still... Okay, off we go. Still, as far as the game concerns itself, in Menencia. Because it's listed on the... 
list on the list of areas in Elden and Sia. Ah, also, also, also. Gotta, gotta remember. Cannot, yeah, cannot use items. Cannot use items. Back to details, there we go. Ah, 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 ah. I maybe should have bought some more items, but I don't think we're going to get too far before the end of stream today. Oops, nope. Save. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm sure that would have been a very impressive art if uh, it had landed in any way. You made quick work of them. Want me to pick up your slot then? Just pointing it out. Very good, very good. Blue attack. Entirely unnecessary, but very nice. We love our cool attacks around here. So, did you like my boost art? I did. Yeah, it was off the charts. Hmm. I don't really feel the need to fight too many of these boars. But I do want to search for this owl uninterrupted, ideally. And Jasmine. A herb that raises resistance when used, though extremely potent, the plant itself is only rarely I'll found in the that. wild. Okay, so the owl's around here somewhere. I'm gonna get attacked by boars again. Or maybe not. Okay. Or maybe so. Coming through! So, yeah. I don't know, I always want to use steel more. I always want to, like, use it. And, yeah, all of that. Of course, I never end up actually, like, you know, doing anything with it. Oops. I never end up actually doing anything with it, really. So maybe that's a sign that it's not a... all that much I need to worry about. You and me both, Doodle. Yeah, mostly I kind of want to get, like, you know, I want to get more arcs that are in that vein, maybe. Or at least just improve steel. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. I haven't really compared the numbers, again, because it's kind of hard to. I guess I could see probably a little bit easier in the training grounds. I'm unstoppable. And what about without them? Uh, more stoppable? Hmm. I might just spend the rest of the stream looking for this owl. All right, it's definitely along here somewhere. Try to triangulate. Oh. Oh. All right, it's to my right, to the front. Oh, hold on. Ah, there you are. Indeed. Devil tail. A demonic tail curved like a snake. Unlike with a compass, the pointy end does not, in fact, always point north. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Look, Hoodle. One of your buddies. The night bean of the eyes. Alright, so now that we don't need to clear any space around these boars, I think we can safely ignore them. There's something in the water. Nice. Fish, perhaps even. I didn't realize there was a pond here. Didn't realize there was a pond yeah, on Taka Pond Road? Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. Mm. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and Eyes. Oh, hold on. We're about to learn how to fish, Bear aren't we? Mind. Our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food I to survive. I think we're about to learn how to fish. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? I guess that's what we've been doing that up until now. That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You, you must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. There's not a lot Here, of water in Calaglia. let me show you how it's done. And there's not a lot of liquid water in Cisloden, so... It is something of a rarity, I imagine. But yes, fishing. Various fishing points are scattered around Dana, which, may, which contain different species of fish to catch. These fish can then be used in cooking, sold for gold, or even unlock new titles. So don't hesitate to try out new fishing holes when you find them. Alright. 
I, I am pleased to report, everybody, that this is now officially a good video game because it has a fishing minigame in it. Fishing steps. Fishing consists of four steps, casting a line, luring fish, hooking them, and then reeling them in. For more information on these steps, consult the fishing controls topic. Well, I guess I'm not going to get the chance to do that uh, immediately. Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. Uh, cast lure. <laughs> All right. We can do a soft shake. Oh, hold on. Okay. So it's a timing mini game. Hmm. The fish don't seem to be super responsive to the hard shakes. And they like the yeah. There's a little ring there that they like more. All right. Okay. 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 Oh, hold on. I gotta press the button. There we go. Right, real in. Good. The, the fishing mini game in this game is very dramatic. Anybody could reel in that. You yes. sure know what you're doing. Excellent. <laughs> uh, for some reason, seeing Kisara posing with this fish here, I can't help but think of like when people like have a dating dating app or website profile that is just a picture of them with a fish. I wonder if the <laughs> what sort of uh, influences the fish that you'll get. I guess, you know, in part, the... Yeah, the, the silhouette, I suppose, indicates to a certain all right. extent. All right, all right. I'm glad that the fishing minigame isn't too troubling in this game. I do like a good fishing minigame. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at them, by and large. Yes. In particular, for instance, uh, <laughs> she is sing she's single well, and looking to that mingle. Wasn't much of a challenge. That went pretty well. Maybe so. Maybe so. I guess we don't have any any uh, clear indication that she has a, a significant <laughs> other, so maybe that could be true. All right, let's see what else we can catch. Is there anything that likes a hard shake? All right, there's a lot of things that don't like a hard shake, it seems like. It seems that maybe most fish don't like a hard shake. But it seems like maybe these fish just don't like me, actually. Because they are not not responding. Not my lucky day, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, I said that we were gonna gonna do some story progress, but I think actually we're gonna do some fishing. Yeah, it does seem to be there we go. universally true, more or less, that it does seem to be universally true that the fish do not like, maybe at least just in this area, okay. the fish in this area at least do not at all like a hard shake on the fishing rod. Oh, oh, okay. So there's different, uh, it got away. different, yeah, different controls to press. I was pressing R2 every time. And I think at least during one of those, it, the reason it didn't work is just because I didn't, uh, <clears throat> I didn't press it appropriately. All right, it seems it seems as though there we go. Different fish seem to like uh, <clears throat> seem to like different, uh, not just different types of shape, but different uh, <clears throat> different timings also. Oops, okay. So, gotta remember that the... Yeah, got to remember that I need to actually look at what the button prompt is. Well, it's not bad, per se. You take your fishing pretty seriously. Alright, we've caught a lot of these these specific trout. I'm hoping to get something that is not a, not a hawksbill trout. 
All right, so. Mm -hmm. This seems to have a slightly different silhouette, maybe. All right, all right. Oh, no, nope, okay. Oh. That was disappointing. Wait, hold on. Did I? Hmm. Especially disappointing because I would would have liked to have caught that fish because I think that was different than what we have been seeing. Hmm. All right. These fish just don't seem to be impressed with anything that I'm doing. So maybe time to try a different spot. Maybe we'll try something else. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should look at the fishing controls actually. Hmm. Because yeah, I'm Looks like softly I shaking, it. but it doesn't seem that anything is uh, happening. <laughs> And that's all there is to it. Wow. You win some, you lose some. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara, I think I've seen enough. You've absolutely not seen enough fishing. Uh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be here for a while. Absolutely, Shion. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different Excellent. regions, and you have to pick the right rod ah, and lure for what the, you're uh, hoping to catch. Oh, rod and lure. Maybe that, that has something to do with it. doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. All right, so. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth know me how trying to game my the hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was Absolutely. hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicente. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Absolutely. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Yeah. I don't know... Oh, hi. Okay! Hey, you look like you know your way with a rod. I've been fishing a long time and have built up a good collection of equipment for it. I'll share it with you if you're interested. I just want one thing in exchange. All I ask is that you show me records of any fish you catch. The more you catch, the more equipment I'll hook you up with. <laughs> if you need anything, I'm always here. Don't be afraid to come and up and talk to me. The fishing expert found that Talca Pond can teach you the basics of fishing. If you show him your fishing notes, he'll tell you where to go catch fish you haven't found, as well as giving you new fishing gear based on how many you've caught. Miguel's Rod, a fishing rod owned by Kisara's brother that's seen better days after over a decade of use. Beginner's Popper, an ordinary surface fishing lure that attracts fish by splashing water and making noise. Nice. Very nice. Kisara, skilled angler. Master Arts Gauge Recovery, I can appreciate that. While, many, while times may have changed since Miguel first taught Kisara to fish for her own survival, it's remained her hobby nonetheless. The power of fishing. <laughs> the power of fishing is enough to keep Kisara from death's door. Excellent. Alright, so let's learn how to fish. Hmm. Alright, this is not teaching me how to fish. Nope. Um... Right, system. No, wait, hold on. Where are the where are the instructions again? Oh, there we go. Fishing expert, fishing controls. Push left stick to select where to fish, then press R2 to cast your line. If the cursor turns yellow, it indicates the fish are nearby. You can also press triangle to change your rod and lure. Some fish are easier to catch depending on which lure you lure you use. Fishing gear screen. You can view the fish available at your current fishing point from the fishing gear screen. While there, you can also review the controls for luring fish next to the list of names. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh, so there's... 
there's a com there's sort of like a combo that you have to do. Interesting. Press triangle, square, and X to lure fish to you. Doing so will make a ring that appears a, uh, a ring appear that begins to shrink. If you time subsequent moves as this ring overlaps the green circle on the screen, you'll attract fish to your line in short order. Okay, so that's why I was only attracting the one fish, because I was using only the one pattern. All right. Or at least that's the only one that I thought was useful. When you see an exclamation mark appear while luring a fish, try performing another luring action right away. If you choose the right action, a heart mark will appear, bringing the fish closer. Repeat the cycle to draw fish or fish closer and closer to you. Yes, once a fish is sufficiently close, they'll bite down on the lure. When that happens, you'll have a limited amount of time to press R2 and hook them, at which point the real challenge begins. Once a fish is hooked, you must drain its stamina to zero to catch it. You can press X to reveal them in, which lowers their stamina but adds tension to the line. If the tension crosses the right end of the gauge, the line will cut, losing the fish. But yes, if a fish struggles, then push and hold left stick in the same direction as the arrow on screen. If the fish jumps out, press the button shown within the time limit. Successfully doing so will reduce tension on the line, while failure to do so will raise it. Yeah, that's stuff that we just learned. Okay. I really would I really wish that it would have told me the fishing information controls like during that time. I hope we catch something decent. Hmm. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. So yeah, there's nothing oh. Never mind, there are other things we can choose. Easy catches. Okay, so I guess that just just means what they're Now where might those fish be? Improves our odds, probably. Yeah, sadly there are no sea bream here, which are what I really want. Well, look who it is. Something you need to ask? Uh, let me show you my fishing notes, I guess. I've got a fish. All right, let's see what you got. Mm -hmm. So you've got one kind of fish so far, eh? Walk up on road, overseer hill, frozen valley. Those are the places you have yet to catch some fish. Why not swing on by and see what you can find? Do more and I'll have something else to give to you, so keep fishing. I suppose we might as well. Um, how do I find fish? If it's a fish you've caught before, check your fishing notes. That'll remind you where its habitat is. When in doubt, it's always good to crack open your fishing notes. If it's a fish you haven't seen before, show me your fishing notes, then we'll talk. All right, so. We need to learn how to fish, actually, for real. Um, and in bass. Now, where might that would those be fish be? Honestly, at this point, I'm I would be delighted for anything other than a hawk's bill trap. So, I've got something. All right, so this is presumably the fish, the fish that we're looking for. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more in-depth fishing minigames I've experienced. Definitely one of the more in-depth fishing minigames I've experienced. Boy, that's a bit of a letdown. Uh -huh. Could have been worse. At least you caught something. I mean, it's a fish. <laughs> a fish is a fish. All right. So X triangle is the pond tilapia. I don't want to go for the taka trout. That seems <laughs> appropriate. That was triangle square, I think. I've got something. I don't think this is that. I don't think this is that creature. Alright, pretty good. Yes, I don't think this is that creature. Well, actually, no, I was pressing. Well, no. Oops, okay. Alright, I need to. Pay attention to what the, the game tells me to do, actually. Anybody could reel in that. Hawk bill trap. Not too shabby, friend. It's a fish. Alright. Talka trout. Yeah. Yeah, I want to catch a talka trout, so I guess we'll switch over to the celestial whale. Hmm. This might be hey, if the silhouettes are meaningful. Good idea. I'll go for that one. Triangle square, triangle square. Yeah, if the silhouettes are meaningful. 
I don't feel like that's going to get me anything. Oh, no. Reel it in. All right, very good. Yeah, I was going to say, if these silhouettes are meaningful, then it might be... Yeah, if these silhouettes are meaningful, then it might be valuable to... Uh, Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they are. At least not these silhouettes that I was referring to. The ones that uh, sort of jump up before you cast your line. I'll catch something bigger next time. Maybe you could keep it as a pet. Pretty good. All right. So, Falka Trout. Nothing else that we... Yeah. Neither of these are good for catching anything else, I don't think, that we haven't already caught. So, X triangle for Pond Tilapia. Wouldn't it be easier to simply use Astral Arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the whole point of going out to fish. Yeah, we gotta be a, we gotta be a sportsman about this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the fish that jumps, I just realized, All I right, forgot to once check. more from the top. I did check, but I forgot what it was. Square triangle, square triangle. X triangle or X square. <clears throat> yeah, the silhouettes that pop up once we've cast our line do seem to mean something. Now, where might those fish be? But the jumping fish silhouette seems to be the same fish every time. Let's. Let's. Yeah. Reel it in. Hmm. Uh. That doesn't look like a catfish. Uh. At least not any catfish that I'm familiar with. Uh. Okay, so it always seems to be either R2 or L1. Maybe other fish later in the game will have more challenging sequences of buttons to press. But, yeah, for now it seems to be pretty consistent. I think I should probably, yeah, ease up a little bit. I'll let you oh. go this time. Oh no, that was different. I don't know, maybe we, maybe we should wrap up. <laughs> Maybe we should wrap up. We're at about stream end time. Let's talk to Fishing Man. Please reveal to me the secrets of the sea bream. Let's see how many types of fish you caught. Three, huh? Let me give you a little something. Elegant swimmer. Fish-shaped lure optimal midway underwater. It moves gracefully, attacking, attracting rough, wild fish. Nice. Uh, actually, uh, tell me, uh, about fish, please. Alright. Not terribly helpful. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I need to actually go to those places. Considering that's what he told me. Hmm. Well, I suppose there's more to be done here, so we might as well make it to the next rest stop. Might as well make it to the next rest stop before we finish things off. You're a lifesaver. Now I can get back to my miss. <clears throat> Sorry. Forgot I spoke. Carry on. Don't mind me. Infantry shield. I'm always amazed what healing arts can. Oh. Well. Unfortunate. I guess Kisara's amazement will have to wait for another day. <sighs> Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Mm. Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're going to keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you <clears throat> ask them? Sit. Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? <sighs> she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? Yon is very direct. You hadn't noticed? He's a straight shooter, as they say. joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? He's pretty Having dangerous, guards doesn't yes, necessarily but... mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so... It's not like they're entirely wrong, Kisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. 
I don't think I don't I'm know. Now. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. I mean, hey, this is <laughs> an interaction that involves it's him. It's not that easy, you know. shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. Just, it's only polite to ask, to ask someone when you're about to, you know, when you're talking about how you're going to be treating them and interacting with them in the future, you know. Let's see a little bit more. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. Hmm. Is that what I should do I hate those then? guys. I can get some hits in when they move into attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? <laughs> I possess the ability to command Earth elemental beings to some extent. Mm -hmm. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Nice. Huh? Uh, what he Too means is that he can make long. plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. Too many syllables? I'm saw glad it at too, least apparently. one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. All right. So, oh, well. Doholim's fighting keep style skipping, is... Keep skipping dialogue. What's the word I'm looking for? Unfortunate. Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. Hmm. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me, but my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Hmm. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No. I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess gotta that's keep, why. Gotta keep on your toes. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> then, <laughs> don't worry, we're used well. to that by this huh? point. It's nothing. Let us continue. <sighs> yes, we are... <laughs> Around here, Dohalim is very used to me not dodging at the appropriate moment. Alright, so, fast travel point, camp. Um, I suppose we might as well heal before we wrap up, just so it's one less thing to do next time around. And we'll have uh, Kisara Why do a little bit more cooking. Like that? that armor you wear is standard issue for the Menensean Guard, right? Skip Originally, I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed, especially with that open back. That is a we guards strange pride choice ourselves for the... on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of hmm. making myself live up to that. Plus, Fair it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. I guess that's what we'll go with. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? It does seem a little bit unorthodox. Every guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, La? Huh? Why are you asking me? Yes, it is time for more soup. Let's see. Yeah. We haven't encountered any ore thus far, so it feels a little bit like a waste, but... Oops! Oh dear. Let me tell you, that was a waste. Anyway, Don't let's talk to Dohali. Care if I hang out for a while? <sighs> you worried about what's going on with Men and Sia? What makes you think that? Well, you were speaking to Kisara earlier, weren't you? It's rude to listen in on others, you know. Sorry. I listen, didn't we hear love, what we you love two it. were actually we love talking about, around though. Here. I just figured it was Men and Sia since it was the two of you. I am but a former lord who has abandoned his post. I'm no longer in a position to lead the realm in any capacity whatsoever. 
Mm. Yet Kisara still seeks out my opinions, knowing full well that is the case. This despite the fact I am no longer her master either. Couldn't it be precisely because you're not her master anymore? It's natural for friends to want to hear each other's opinions. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't considered that possibility. It's funny what you miss sometimes. Hardly uncommon among artistic types such as myself. When lordships are decided based solely <laughs> on one's astral energy, it can lead to funny results. But even so, you still took your job as lord seriously, didn't you? Certainly. Oops. I okay. learned to perform well, my functions. I've skipped However, something. So, I was less interested I'll place in the ruling, controller down. So much as avoiding life and death decisions. And I will make no sudden moves. Of course, such so a mentality the in the end off. led only to sickening pain and death taking place elsewhere out of sight. I pretended not to see or hear any of it, content to let our supposed peace and equality keep me blind and deaf to reality. I was a fool. Mm. But you're making amends. I would like to think so. The path ahead is dark, yet I still walk on. I merely pray that I shan't fall down any holes along the way. You are now closer to Dohali. We'd best get ready for tomorrow. All right. I think that's a pretty good place to, to leave off. Shall we get moving? And I'm glad that no prompt came up for another another little dialogue there. Just to tempt me to do a little bit more. Oh dear. I, think I accidentally yeah, I accidentally nudged the controller input and I almost unplugged it. But we're good. Anyway, so we're done. <laughs> but yeah, Tales of a Rise. Good to be playing it again. It feels like I say that a lot because I take a lot of, I accidentally take a lot of breaks in between playing Tales of Arise, but we're playing it again now. Everything is well and right with the world. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh yes. So. Great. My Twitch feel doesn't feel like loading right now, it seems like. I did? Oh, no, there we go. Very slowly loading, but it's loading nonetheless. But yes. So, as always, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can make a choice myself. Stretch a little bit. That's probably another thing that I should think about doing a little bit more. One thing at a time, though. I'll focus first on the sips, and then I'll think about the stretching. But yes, so, Tales of Arise. Uh, Tales of Arise. <laughs> Tales of Arise. But yes, so, schedule, there we go. That's the next thing on the agenda. So, tomorrow, we're looking at probably the usual stream time. Again, I will be getting off work early, most likely. I guess it could, things could change, but I'm currently expecting to get off work early tomorrow. Pardon. Expecting to get off work early tomorrow, but I don't expect to be starting the stream earlier because I will, I do want to use that time for other things. But yes, other than that, um, yeah, other than that, once again, the Friday stream, su not super in, I don't know. I don't know why I keep saying that it's, you know, not set in stone or whatever, because I can always just, like, decide. <laughs> I can always just decide what I'm going to stream. Like, that's entirely a choice that's up to me when I'm streaming on my own. I'm the only one who, who needs to be consulted about such a thing. For a collab, it's a little bit more complex, which is why I tend to be a little bit more wishy-washy about those. But, yeah, the... And just the fact that I tend to be a bit wishy-washy in general. But, <laughs> yes, I can simply decide when I'm going to stream on a on Friday. I can simply decide. So, yeah. In, unless something changes between now and then, then it will be at 1. 1 p.m. Central Time, with more Tales of Arise. And yeah, I think... I don't think I mentioned what we're playing on Thursday. So let's take it from the top. Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Cheppy Sheps and I playing uh, Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Friday, 1 p.m. Central Time, <clears throat> approximately. No, no, approximately. 1 p.m. Central Time. I'm committing now. 
so that I don't have to dither anymore. 1 p.m. Central Time, assuming nothing changes. That is, I think, a fair statement. But I keep... <laughs> I keep losing my momentum because I keep correcting myself. I guess, you know, everything can always change, so I really don't need to say unless something changes. If something changes, I'll talk about it. But until such time as things change, I think we can all understand the fact that things can change. I don't need to explain that to all of you. But yes, so. <laughs> 8.30 p.m. Central Time, Valhalla with Sheppy Sheps. 1 p.m. Central Time, <laughs> Tales Are Rise with Tiberius Vanderfield. So, that has been said. I don't see any raid suggestions, so I think we will go and visit, um... Uh, let's go see... Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. I remember... I remember raiding into this person. I remember I was given a... given a nickname to address them by. But I don't... Uh, I don't remember what that was now. I know it's not their username or shortened version of it. But... Uh, yeah, I know that... Um, now, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I guess we will refer with the, uh, their username for right now, because I can't remember, I can't remember what I was instructed to refer to them as. Yeah, Silva Geka. But yeah, another VTuber playing some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Not precisely sure which one. But one of those games, playing a video game, but yes, um, let's see, let's see, what is there to say? I already went over the schedule in excruciating detail <laughs> and repetition, but yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll leave it at that. The customary raid message is, we have arrived, so. I think that's all that needs to be said here, more or less. So, let's be on our way then. I keep thinking thinking that there's something something more I need to address, but no, it's fine. <laughs> so, thank you all very much for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>